Hello, it's Jason Bank for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm back at the community of Ladera. It's only about 10 minutes from Lackland Air Force Base, right off Petranco Road area. Lots of stuff convenient to this community. But the reason I'm out here is because the house behind me is now back on the market. If you saw my video I did a while back, I did a video tour of this, but I thought it was necessary to do another video tour since it is back on the market. Let's go check it out. Now, I hope you can still see it. The sun's kind of right behind the house, but this is a house built by Liberty Homes. It is uh, almost 2,200 square feet, a three bedroom, two bath, and a three car garage. You don't see too many, uh, this is the Carolina plan, but you don't see too many Carolina plans with a three car garage. We are kind of up on top of the hill in this section of the community. You go down the bottom of the hill there, that's where the elementary school is. And if you make a right, you go just another block and you've got the gorgeous pool that they have in this community. I might go video of that at the end of this uh, video. Um, but yeah, this house came back on the market because the buyer, uh, had VA eligibility issues because this house does have a VA assumable loan at a 3.1% rate. So that's a great advantage for anybody looking to buy this house. All right, let's head on inside. Make sure you hit that like button. That really does help out a lot. But yeah, the, the big selling point of this house is that 3.1% VA loan assumption ability. Uh, the payoff on this house is right around 350 and we're asking just below uh, 400,000 for it. So if you got a little cash in your pocket, this would be a great deal to be able to get into this house, maybe stay in it for a year or two, uh, and then turning it into a rental property if you want to, because we're really not gonna get rates down in the threes like that again, nevertheless 3.1. This house also already has a paid off water softener in it. So that's a huge plus as far as if you wanna use this, get into this house, get it occupied for minimal expenses. Eight foot doors throughout, and I absolutely love these floors. They're actually, they kind of jump out and I kind of like that. All right, let's go look, look at some of these bedrooms that are up front. Um, this house does come, the TV here is included. My buyers are, my sellers are active duty military and they've already PCS out of the area. But yes, this, if you're looking to get an FHA loan and trying to assume it, please, we need a VA assumable loan. Cause my client surprisingly wants his VA eligibility back. So that's why it's important to have a VA buyer that might be interested in assuming it. Now, if you want to go to conventional route, that's fine too. We're all for that. If you want to just buy it outright without doing the loan assumption, you definitely can do that because yeah, then my client gets his VA eligibility back. All right, you do have a full bathroom right up here being shared by those two front bedrooms we just saw. Really nicely done. Um, this house has already been inspected. Uh, there were some questions on the attics and the beams up there for the inspector and I paid to have a structural engineer come out and look at it and he was raving about how well this uh, the trust and attic was built and said there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. You do have this area here that in the Carolina plan this could be closed off into an office but my sellers decided they wanted the open space so it's really cool to have two different living spaces. You have a living space there and another one right here. So that's kind of neat, I like it. They already have the ports there for the TV. Another thing they have this in this house is a flex room. This can be used as your office. That's what my sellers were using this for. They had the desk right there. TV already, the TV mount stays with the house. And nice little closet. So it's really nice having a house with a flex room that has an office that you can just shut up and shut the doors and say, hey, I'm in my workspace now. All right, another thing I like about this plan is this big kitchen island, gorgeous island there. I do like the uh, pendant lighting they have. The refrigerator also comes with this house. Now this house is actually listed quite a bit below market value. There's the pantry, and I'm gonna leave, uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put 
what the current asking price if you went new construction on this Carolina plan built by Liberty Homes. Gas cooktop, GE appliances, you have a breakfast nook space right there in front of us. But yeah, let's go check out the outside. Um, another advantage is this is on a corner lot. So you have a much bigger lot than what the new construction's offering as well. Nice big patio area. The sun sets on the front of the house. So you're gonna have all shade on the back. And I don't know if you can tell, you got a really nice view out the back corner of the property and nobody really looking directly into the back of your house. Yes, you do have the house there, but you're not seeing your neighbors uh, and they're not seeing you. So yeah, you can come out here and hang out, but this is a really good sized backyard. Sprinkler systems already installed. Plenty of space to do whatever activities you might want to do. Um, got the upgraded shingles, the three-dimensional shingles, and everywhere in this community does. This is not an entry-level community, especially in this portion of the community. So you're gonna have uh, some higher tier homes. Perry also builds in here. I love the fact that the air conditioner, it's a really nice train system, is way off on the side. So when you're in the backyard, you can't hear the air conditioner. Some homes, that's a big turn off for me when you have the air conditioner like right here it's really going to limit what your enjoyment factor of being on the back deck we got the air conditioner just blaring right in your ear so i'm glad it's positioned over off the side of the house all right let's go check out the master bedroom but yeah when i get to the, after my wrap up please don't click off video there's going to be more things like the plan layout and the asking price for like the new construction. All right, this is the master bedroom. Lots and lots of lights in here. Love the little bump out. You've got the little TV ports there so you can run your cables down and not be shown. We've got the French doors going into the master bath. Dual vanities at adult heights. So if you've been looking for houses for a while, you realize some houses, the Countertops are low, and yeah, my back isn't that great anymore, so I appreciate having a higher sink. We do have one big can light up there. I've had an electrician price out, and it's not too expensive if you wanted to put more lights there. It's like $300. But you do have a garden tub and a stand-up shower. Um, this house was built in 2021. My sellers had no pets no kids, and they kept this house absolutely immaculate. Uh, another thing that I find is, my, I call it my sneaky need, is having access to your laundry room from the master bath, because you can just go, this is the hallway going, or came into the bedroom. But yeah, if you're trying to do your laundry, and most important, they got a little lock right there. So if you have kiddos, and they're doing laundry, but you don't want them coming to the bathroom, you can. But also a gas hookup. Um, we don't see that many people needing gas for their dryer, but some people from the West Coast, they do have uh, gas operated dryers and that's nice to already have that put in there. All right, you're gonna have your water closet right there, plenty of space in it. And then into the master bedroom closet, you're gonna have your shoe rack or boot rack because we are in Texas. Plenty of storage, hang up spaces right there. Like I said, this isn't the biggest of houses, it's just under 2,200 square feet. Three bedroom, two bath, but that three car garage is really nice. I've personally never had a three car garage, but I really would like one. Every time I'm walking, trying to get around through my motorcycle that's in the garage and all the other crap that builds up in there, I do wish I had that third bay because that would change everything. But I do like the tray ceilings that are in here. This is a beautiful home. Uh, it was a little frustrating that like the, the potential buyer that we had, we had like VA eligibility issues and at the last minute we, uh, this house is now back on the market. As of nine June, it's hard to believe it's June, 2024. As promised, here's the amenity center. Beautiful pool. Gorgeous uh, Sunday morning in Texas here. 
and you've got a playground area right there and plenty of spaces right there to kind of be hanging out and just relaxing in the shade and across the street from here there's the uh, elementary school that i mentioned before that was at the bottom of the hill all right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this Liberty home that was built in 2021. If you got any questions, my contact information will be in the description box. And don't click off just yet, because like I said, I've got some more um, information coming right after I finish this uh, exit portion. But if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know someone moving to the greater San Antonio to include New Braunfels, Bernie, Bulverde, please have them reach out to me. I'll be happy to help uh, as their realtor. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Take care, <laughs> bye.